ever seen how anti-aircraft guided missiles for Russia's renowned S-400 Triumph air defense complexes are assembled. Let's take a look right now at the avant-garde factory here in Moscow. Avangard is one of the world's oldest manufacturers of anti-aircraft missile weapons. In January 2022, it turns 80. It appeared in the most difficult days for the country during the Great Patriotic War. It is the only company producing anti-aircraft guided missiles for the S-300 favorite and S-400 Triumph air defense systems. Manufacturing long-range anti-aircraft guided missiles requires a massive production facility and there are several dozen workshops at Avangard, but most of them are secret or even top secret that will try to slightly uncover the veil of secrecy and show how the steering equipment and other key elements of the anti-aircraft missile are produced. The S-400 complexes are supplied to the Russian army and exported as part of military technical cooperation with foreign countries. Apart from buyers like China, India and Turkey, there is a whole list of countries that are not announced which are queuing for the S-400s. What makes the complexes so unique? The answer is their guided missiles. Without avant-garde products, our most famous air defense systems in the world, the S-400 Triumph, would be unarmed and useless. The main striking elements of the S-400 are produced here at the avant-garde plant. More than 50,000 people are involved in creation of the air defense missiles. The missile flies 20 seconds, but it takes 20 months to build. We are at the forging and pressing shop here, where hot forging of various steel alloys, as well as heat resistant and titanium alloys, is carried out. All the outer parts of the missile will have to withstand mechanical and thermal loads, meaning it has to be really durable. Parts of the catapult, the hull of the missile, as well as its steering mechanisms are produced here. Its gas dynamic and aerodynamic rudders will have to operate at extremely high temperatures, so the alloy composition is given great attention. The next section is where parts of gas dynamic rudders are built to be installed in the steering compartment near the engine nozzle. They have an important purpose when the missile ejects from the launch mechanism. These rudders will deflect a stream of hot gases away from the missile in order to turn it in the direction of the target within a split second. After that, it will fly towards the target at an incredibly high speed with control functions performed now by aerodynamic rudders. It's not a secret that the world leaders in the field of anti-aircraft missile systems are Russia and the United States. The S-400 and Patriot air defense systems are the most famous developments of the countries in this area. First of all, the main difference between the complexes is the launch angle. The Patriot has an inclined launch angle, ours is vertical. The second difference is the missile flight speed. The speed is much higher with the S-400. The third important difference is the operational range. The S-400's operational range is four times longer. The S-400 Triumph beats all existing air defense systems hands down. Its operational range is 400 kilometers and it can detect any targets at a distance of up to 600 kilometers. The S-400 can simultaneously target up to eight airborne targets and simultaneously track up to 160 targets. It can destroy airborne objects flying as high as 35 kilometers and as low as five meters. And the price tag for the system is much lower compared to its American rival. Meanwhile, we're moving into the electrical installation shop. Here, the electrical wiring of the missile is made for the speedy and reliable passage of signals of the control system. In other words, here we can see the nervous system of the missile. Traditional production methods are closely interacting with the latest materials and technologies. 
A special adhesive tape is used to fasten the wires. It looks pretty much like ordinary blue electrical tape, but this one is made of a special plastic that has some specific parameters of strength, flexibility and durability. So it will firmly hold the wires in a bundle for decades while the missile is stored and will not allow the wires to crumble in flight under extreme pressure. The work here requires high qualifications and high concentration. 60% of workers in the shop are women, perhaps due to their increased ability to concentrate. Their natural patience plus thin, sensitive fingers also count. The workers do this job faster and more reliably than robots. The ladies joke that they get on the missile's nerves. This is a battery for installation in a guided missile. Wires are being laid and unsoldered here. All workers who are engaged in the manufacture of this block undergo certification and train every three years. Our products must be hermetically sealed. Since they may turn up in different climate zones, there may be rain or snow. Because moisture is the main enemy of any technology. The S-400 missile runs on solid fuel. It consists of four compartments, but it flies as one piece. It is crowned with a sharp-nosed cover made of radio-transparent ceramics, under which a semi-active homing head is hidden. We are now entering the most sacred workshop of the avant-garde factory, where literally no journalist ever set foot back in Soviet times. This is an assembly and test workshop where the final construction of the missile is taking place. Now we have an opportunity to observe what happens to the S-400 anti-aircraft missile right before it leaves the factory. Here we can see the placing of a missile into the container, which is officially called the transport and launch container. It doesn't only serve as a protection case. Its bottom takes the heaviest blow when launching a missile. It's both lightweight and durable. You are at the assembly site of the avant-garde factory. This is really the holy of holies of our enterprise, because the process of creating a missile is completed here. The missile is rolled into the transport and launch container here. The transport and launch container has a unique design with a catapult inside. The catapult is peerless worldwide. What is its uniqueness since we mentioned it? It allows the missile, without starting the engine, to go to the start and launch already in the air. And most importantly, the purpose of the transport and launch container is to store the missile for many, many years. Is there some kind of special atmosphere maintained there so that the missile could be stored for much longer than even 10 years? The container is simply hermetic, so that neither precipitation nor moisture can penetrate there, and temperature swings and even mechanical impact don't affect it either. We do not know where in the world these missiles will protect people from airstrikes, but at the avant-garde plant, they assured us that their missiles always hit precisely on target.